Terry, a sturgeon spears may have to be patient this season to get out onto the lake to claim their spots for the ice season. Yeah, the season begins in less than a month on Lake Winnebago and on the upriver lakes. And that's getting some people excited, but there is a problem. A lack of ice might melt their moods. It's already the time that some fishermen call the ice their second home. It's already got them feeling a little deflated at this time of the year. Fox 11's Chad Dorn is live for us from Menasha with more on this story. Chad? Well, Michelle, the thin ice is keeping fishermen off all of Lake Winnebago right now, with the exception of some of the surrounding bays. The thin ice is also worrying organizers of some big events coming up here on the lake in just a few weeks. Lake Winnebago ice expert Don Herman says this is only the third time in the last 37 years he's seen open water on Lake Winnebago in mid-January. This aerial video shot over Lake Winnebago today shows how much open water there is. Right now it's, it's, it's dangerous. I, you know, you can't come out with a four-wheeler or even walking. But it's not stopping these fishermen from venturing out into the bays. Normally, by mid-January, groups like the Otter Street Fishing Club have put out bridges over large cracks in the ice. But club president Scott Engel says it's not something they're even thinking about right now. And if they aren't out, by the time surgeon spearing starts February 11th, they may not put them out at all. Feels like October. It really does. And until the snow last week, green grass, and uh, we had 50 degrees last week, it's uh, hard to fathom. Engel is also worried about the club's annual fishery, just three weeks away. He says if there isn't at least 12 inches of ice, they will have to host the event on shore. Conditions like this are typical on Lake Winnebago with sections of thick and thin ice just feet apart. And the fishing club say it will take at least two weeks of cold weather to make any part of the lake safe. You can see here there's about six inches of ice and right over there is only an inch. And you can't really tell what, there's not a really a difference. Herman says by now many fishermen would be out scouting the lake for sturgeon spearing. Ice shanties that would normally start going up next week may not be able to go up at all if the ice doesn't thicken up for vehicle traffic. And that has some fishermen concerned about their chances of spearing the big one. It, it makes it definitely uh, your chances of uh, being successful is less because you, you can't get out there and, uh, you know, Check things. The DNR says the sturgeon spearing season will go on regardless of how much ice is on the lake, which right now is testing the patience and the weight of fishermen brave enough to head out. Now both the fishermen and the DNR say it's still too early to tell if there will be enough ice for the sturgeon spearing season, but they say some days and nights of cold temperatures will certainly make them feel better about their chances. Live in Menasha, Chad Dorn, Fox 11 News.